This is the glitchiest defense in Madden 24. It shuts down the pass. It gets instant sacks. Oh my god! And interceptions all game. So if you want to see what brand new defense I'm using for results like this, stick around after the intro. For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays from today's video can once again be found in my custom offensive and defensive ebooks. If you guys want more help or more money plays, you can instantly download these or any of my ebooks simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment. For my game today, I'll be playing against another subscriber from my 32 team CFM league that I created a few weeks ago and have been making videos about ever since. If you guys missed my game last week, I played against an opponent with a top three offense in what looked like a possible conference championship game preview. I will have a link in the description if you guys want to see that video, but in today's video, I'll be playing against the player with the number one offense in the league at the time of this recording with the New York Jets, a player that put the entire league on notice when he put up a whopping NFL record 679 passing yards with Aaron Rodgers and also an NFL record 77 points against the only player that has beat me in this franchise in the New England Patriots owner in week one. Now, I don't know anything about this guy or what exactly he is doing going into the game, but the only thing that I can tell is that his profile picture looks like he might play professional football on some level. So I know that I'm going to have to have a good performance to keep my win streak alive. But before I do, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. It really helps out the channel and I appreciate the support. I started this game out on defense and I'll once again be showing you a new defensive setup out of the only defense I use in the 3-3 odd. To me, this has been the best defense to use for the last several months and that was recently confirmed when Henry used it to win the Madden Challenge Championship using the exact same formation albeit in a different way than what I'm going to show you guys today but I added his concepts to my own to make this what I consider to be the only defense you should be using right now on the first series I can tell this guy is all stick skill when I see him do a journal up the field needlessly for an acceleration boost, I guess. But he is mostly a passing player as he gets the first down the next play. So I'll be using the blitz that Henry put out a lot as this defense works best against shotgun offenses. Henry liked to use cover three cloud for some reason, but I find that it works well out of several coverages like the cover three sky and the Tampa two or any defense that has the same look to the down defensive lineman. But I choose cover three a lot because of the ease of the setup. The most important part is to take auto flip off in your coaching adjustments as you have have to flip the play in the huddle because this somehow changes the blocking structure of the offense and i also like to set my auto alignment to base so i can hide my coverages but this setup also works best if you use a lot of different zone coverages more than man after that you just have to pinch the entire defense by pressing the rb the r1 button and down the left stick i like the baseline after that by pressing the wire triangle button and right on the left stick just to back off the cornerback so they don't get burned deep as well but the most important part of this setup is the blitz as all you have to do is put one of these linebackers on a blitz and line them up directly behind the nose tackle in a way that has their blitz angle facing the guard on the left and this will usually get the blitzing linebacker in free right up the a gap very consistently just make sure to put your fastest linebacker or safety in this spot to get in quicker but if you have a linebacker that has under pressure it will work even better as this ability affects the throw accuracy even if they don't get the sack but on this play i didn't get the full setup in and something happened where the offensive line let the defensive tackle get in instead but he hurries me up and gets the first on the very next play with an RPO, so anytime I see an RPO play, I immediately go to my best defense for RPOs, and that's the Sam Mike 1. Normally I would flip the play so that the coverage linebacker would be facing the open side of the field so I can put him into a hard flat to take away short check down routes that can beat man coverages like zigs and drags. But against this guy, I decided to put hard flats on both sides until I have a better idea of what it is he likes to do on offense by putting my defensive end in a flat on the other side as well. As he runs another RPO play and the man coverage shuts it down completely, I think he realizes that man stops that so he goes to another meta caliber play in the gun bunch offset double post to pick up the first down. I stay in the cover one on the next two plays because my main concern is the RPOs as they can be very difficult if you don't stop them early. And he tries to run on both downs only to end up going backwards to get to another third and long before deciding to come up in an empty backfield look and I decide to use Henry's blitz once again only this time I kick it up a notch as this A gap pressure can still happen with only three blitzers since you can also put the outside linebacker and defensive end both on hard flats. But I get stuck on the defensive tackle before the snap happens somehow and totally ruined 
ruin it, while he beats me up the cover three seam for another first down. I go back to cover on the next play and he barely gets two yards before he switches to an empty backfield look once again. How about new? And Nolan Smith gets the knockout on the goal line. I stay in cover on the next play and he tries the exact same drags and zigs that the hard flats are meant to stop. Not so for you. And Nolan Smith makes another play on the ball before he decides to go for it on fourth down. Gotcha, bitch. And we get an interception in the end zone. On offense, I'm going to start with my I-form close scheme. I'm mostly going to be focusing on defense in this video, but I already made a full breakdown of this offense and defense, so if you guys want to see more, I will leave links in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video. He gets me into a quick third down before I use the exact same hard to stop play that I put out in my video last week on the next two plays, before I hit a big wheel route to get in the field goal range and switch offenses to the gun stack Y flex scheme that I posted on Friday. As I read off coverage on the open side of the field, so I hit the speed out route and get a huge block downfield for the lead. Back on defense, my hard flats are forcing him to hold the ball with the running back while using RPOs, which is fine by me, as this offense is already reduced to running with his quarterback as nothing else seems to be getting open. And you can see how critical those hard flats are as he hurries me up on the next play and I don't have enough time to make that adjustment, allowing his double drags to get wide open. So I make sure to get that adjustment on the next play and he is forced to run with Aaron Rodgers again. But he's not going to make a living that way. So now that he is holding the ball, I decide to go back to the blitz to get more pressure and he beats my cover three with a timely corner out. So I go back to the cover one man on the next play Got him. and we get another interception once he tries that corner out again on offense it doesn't take long to capitalize either as he loads the box against the run and i just go right around it with my stretch run to take a 14 nothing lead to the metal, then stop. he could go all the way and now he is playing with urgency as he finally finds a route that gets open over the middle before going back to running with the quarterback on the next two plays. But I get a sack on the second one. Sit your ass down. As he gets all the way down the field and inside the five on a third and three. And I give up a touchdown on that exact same RPO play he has been using all game to end the half. Damn it! I get the ball in the second half and go right back to working my I-form scheme before I decide to run it with Hurts and make a critical mistake of not sliding. No! And now it's a ball game. He keeps using that same hard to stop double post play. My man coverage keeps taking everything away, forcing him to run with the quarterback before switching to the RPO. But this defense is stopping all of it. The only problem is that I have to stay in this defense all game because the second I switch to a cover three, for example, he has his best RPO play of the game to get inside the five. So I have to go right back to that, but it's too late as he punches it on the ground to tie the game. On offense, I go back to my I-form close scheme for a few plays, but I want to get more explosive, so I switch to the gun stack by flex offense, and Quentin Williams is a problem as he is single-handedly shutting down my run plays before I finally get one to work on third and long that gets me into a fourth and one that I decide to go for as he almost shoots the gap before I take it wide for the first down. I read cover two in the next play, so I switch to the drive age wheel play, streak the X receiver to pull back to safety, and I take the lead right back. Break yourself, fool! Back on defense, he is still holding the ball against my two-man blitz, only this time when he tries to step up, I just push in the right stick and my defensive end in the hard flat is just waiting for the sack. Surprise, motherfucker! So I might have found an answer for that before he tries the corner route again. <laughs> and we get another interception in scoring range. Since we're in the fourth quarter, a field goal is fine by me, as all I want is a two possession lead, but I read man coverage on the next play, so I switch to the PA tight end leak, motion across the B receiver, and somehow gets matched up with a linebacker for the easy score. Now back on defense, he's going empty, so I switch back to cover three seam and send the A-gap blitz, and it works to perfection to start the drive with a sack. I go back to the man coverage though, and he goes back to the only thing that is open by running the quarterback, before he hits that exact same corner out one more time, as it appears to be the only two things that he can do against his defense. I decide to mix it up and use cover six on the next play, and that was a mistake, as he gets another first down, before I go back to that cover one, and he almost scores on the exact same corner route, before punching in with the RPO play. In retrospect though, if I shaded outside more, I probably would have shut down that corner route as well. On offense, I'm trying to kill clock, so I just run the first two plays to get the first, before I read man zero blitz on the next play and go back to my PA tight end leak, as this post and corner route would probably both score, to take my two score lead back. Break yourself, fool! And from here, I'm just playing prevent to protect my lead and ensure victory, as I don't want to take any chances to accidentally give up a quick score, as clock is my only goal at this point. But as always, prevent prevents you from winning, as I let him go down the field slowly, and he scores a garbage time touchdown to make the score look closer than the game really felt. Before my offense puts the game's remaining two minutes away, and we give him knees inside the red zone to move to 5-1, and one, as I just wanted to secure the victory. But I thought about kicking the field goal at the end, just to make sure that he knows I won by two scores, and sure enough, the first thing he said after 
after the game was, I only won by one score, but I forgot to take a screenshot of that comment. He also said that he figured me out late, to which I said, you never even got me out of my first offense. He also confirmed that he was a former pro athlete, and he was another aspiring streamer like my Rams opponent the week before, so if you guys want to show support, I will have his information in the description if you want to check it out. Other than that, my next CFM game was easily the hardest that I played all year against the one loss Dolphins, so if you guys want to see that, make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Much out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.